you guys for coming back to another episode of Cobra TV's live broadcast. What is going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. What I want to do is talk a little bit about the ships. I was going to do an entire episode of redoing one of my old videos talking about the ships, but I thought, why do that? Why not talk about the ships to the people, you know, who love this game and are anticipating it and share that, you know, that video with you guys. So have you chime in, tell me what about the ships that you like and all right. So the ships in No Man's Sky, guys, that is probably the biggest excitement that I have for No Man's Sky is the ships. That's the one thing that I cannot wait to to get in the game and play around with. Um, when I think about you know how Sean Murray says you're going to have a you know some kind of an emotional attachment to your ship I don't think I will with the game procedurally generating uh, the ships in no man's sky I see myself finding a really cool ship and buying it and then five or ten minutes later flying around I see another ship that I want and maybe I got the money to buy it so I buy it or the units to buy it. So I do. So later on, 20 minutes later, I see another one that I want. I'm going to be that guy. I'm not going to be able to make up my mind. And so when we think about the ships being procedurally generated, first of all, let's look at what we've seen in the trailers so far and the gameplay. They all look relatively similar. And you could definitely tell which ones are traders and which ones would be good for fighters and which ones would be good for explorers. Um, but in the game, that is not going to be told to you. It's not going to say, this ship is a fighter class, this ship is a trader class. So they're going to have uh, features and look a certain way and be able to do certain things that's going to be able to, for you to be able to classify it as a trader or a fighter. And um, what's really cool about the ships, though, how Sean Murray said, the further you get to the center of the galaxy, that's where the good ships are. That's where the better ships are with the big hybrid drives and the, the better weapons. So as far as what we've seen in the trailers and the gameplay footage, we have not seen what the cool ships look like. You got to think. Sean Murray's only showed us what he wants us to see. Hello Games has only showed to the public what they think we could see without ruining the game for us. So as we, you know, as we think about, you know, what, what these ships could possibly look like at the center of the galaxy, that just blows my mind. And I cannot wait to see what those ships look, ships look like. Um, but the ships, they, they come with like a... There's slots in, in, the, in your ship. Now, you could use those to carry resources. You could use those to apply blueprints and tech and build and craft things like cloaking devices or better hyperdrives or better weapons. Um, and But each ship uh, has only a certain amount of those slots. So sometimes you have to wonder, okay, how much tech can you actually build and then leave yourself enough room for cargo? And then you might come across another ship that's even that has even double the amount of those uh, slots. But when you trade that ship in for a different one, well, those upgrades to that ship are gone. Completely gone. It goes with the ship. Your new ship you get is going to have complete empty slots. So when you trade that ship in, they're all gone. All that, all those upgrades you did to that ship, all those tech that you built onto your ship, they're completely gone. You're probably still going to have your upgrades to your ship. I mean, you're, you're going to still have those uh, blueprints and you're going to still have the tech, but you're going to have to rebuild it again. You're going to have to recraft it. So you might have had one that's had uh, that you needed a really rare resource to build that tech and you might not have that rare resource anymore so now that you got your brand new ship you're probably going to have to go find that rare resource again okay so we're going to go ahead and take another color and we'll take we'll keep talking about the ships uh in between colors if nobody wants to talk about them john doe what's going on buddy what's up cobra how are you brother i'm good i'm hoping that was really you in the chat was it you <laughs> yeah Okay. It was me. Because <laughs> if it wasn't, I just randomly bothered you out of nowhere while you're eating dinner. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I forgot that you do your shows on Saturday night. So I was like, you know, oh shit, I'm gonna listen to. So what's going I on, like man? The, nothing much, brother. You know, just 
kicking it, man. Waiting for some fucking games to come out. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. There's, it's really there's nothing to play. <laughs> so have you been seeing Sean's been a little a little active on Twitter, making making little tweets here and there? Yeah, he's been going off watching uh 65 days of static and a couple of other things and uh yeah it's definitely a good sign it's definitely a good sign it means he's out of the office you know that means you know things are coming to a you know slow end you know and not for nothing maybe it was a blessing in disguise you know they probably saw what they needed to fix at e3 they saw that there were still some things they wanted to you know touch up a little bit maybe the draw distance that way you know there's less less popping that you know you know that People are complaining about it. it's a big thing to pop in the, the fucking floating grass. Forgive me for my French. I'm sorry. I just I'm so sick of seeing that floating grass nonsense. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add Blub to the call here real quick. Blub. Blub. What is the name? <laughs> <laughs> it's not just Blub. It's Blub Zero. Ooh, Blub Zero. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hello. Thank you for coming on the show. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Am oh, I we're being doing critical? perfect. Doing perfect, man. So, what brings you on? What do you want to talk about? Uh, good question. Good question. When I was kind of going over this in my head, I kind of had a, a way of doing it where I'd like bring up something, kind of get your guys' view on it, and then my own opinion. That if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We were also talking about the ships too. So, if you want to throw something in yeah. there with that. Uh, I haven't really thought about the ships. Um, that's actually one of the things I least thought about, to be honest. Really? I've, really? Uh, yeah. Um, I've been mostly thinking about the planets, really. Okay. Um, particularly with just the most recent IGN vids. Um, I've noticed that uh, Sean has... Uh, before, um, he would... Um, he would refer to the nearby planets as planets themselves. But I noticed in the IGN vids, he's been calling them moons. Right. Yeah. So I was just it made me think what uh, what brought on this reclassification. And I, he also said that there were, there was more to the solar system, I believe. I'm not sure on that quote. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it just got me thinking, like, what kind of things are going to be doing then if they're they're reclassifying uh, nearby planets as moons, you know? Well, yeah, true, true. And that's might have been, you know, well, there's always been moons in the games, uh, in the game, because he mentioned it a really, really long time ago. Uh, and he called them satellites. You know, he said you have satellites orbiting, or orbiting your planet, and I think he was referring to moons back then. Um, but I think that planets can still be on the horizon, you know, not just yeah. moons. I, th yeah, I think it has to do with the size, a, a lot of it. I think when he called the moons, it's because they were smaller than the planet he was on. And I think you could notice that in the map. Like, if you look at the map, at, like, that the new the new one that they did, which I think is absolutely sexy, <laughs> you could, it, gives you, it gives you a complete diagram of the planet. Like, you could see the sphere. And I, I don't know, I think some of the spheres, if you notice on the screen, are larger than others. And I, I guess, I don't know if that's because the planet is farther away and it's compensating for the distance or if it's an actual, you know, moon. And the planet you're in front of is bigger. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's going to be, you know, just so different everywhere in every solar system. You know, you might have planets really close, and they are going to be planets instead of moons. Or some planets might not even have a moon. So I think it's just going to be different. Yeah, I know in one of the screenshots, uh, it was showing the player looking at uh, one of the smaller flying drone sentinels. And you can see in the distance a moon. And it was it was either farther or it was just really notably smaller than what you see with uh and when you with what we normally see in no man's sky how it, the the planet in the sky is normally a lot larger right and it takes up a, a lot of the the sky but in this screenshot it was actually pretty notably smaller smaller than the drone that was um in sight at the time hmm. um, I don't know if you, it was one of the ones that were released around E3, the 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 high quality screenshots. Yeah, I know exactly them. what picture you're talking about. It's the picture yeah. where he's shooting the, the laser and it's like a blue laser, it's at night. Oh yeah, yep. it's dark out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an awesome <laughs> picture. I know, I love that one. What's your favorite picture out of um, those ones, by the way? Or just any of the screenshots of No Man's Sky? Oh, What's your favorite? Tough. The tour of five planets, the very last one. 
Really? The, yes. The, the mine? No, the green the green planet with like oh, the green haze yeah. in the atmosphere and the oh, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. sun, you know. I, the, oh, I it's definitely just agree amazing. There. Honestly, the planet that really got me and I don't know, it still it still gets me is the the planet with the sandworms. I don't know why, <laughs> but like just the fact that you see that animal just makes you think, wow, I wonder what bigger animals are going to be on planets or crazier animals, you know, like I don't know. That that just gave it like for me that took the game to another level. Yeah. I saw this question in chat earlier. I think it was in chat anyway, but it was asking, um, what planet do you hope to uh, be the one you start out on? Or it was something along those lines. So what, what do you guys think? Well, I don't know what planet I would like to start out on, but I, there, I do have a perfect planet that I hope to find. <coughs> I want to be able to find a planet that's, that kind of makes it feel like a horror game while you're there you know where the it's got creepy uh creepy eerie uh eeriness to it the creatures are scary it's dark it's uh it got like a gothic look to it you know um (laughs) it's maybe even dangerous um maybe you can't see very well or you know just something scary i really want to find a planet like that that makes me think i wonder if the game like on a planet like that would procedurally generate monsters and how scary could the game's monsters be for that matter oh yeah extremely (laughs) and think about the size of those dinosaurs you know so when we think about creatures that big and then we think about you know the variations of some of the creatures we've already seen man there's going to be some pretty big and pretty scary creatures i guarantee it oh no doubt Especially if you don't see it coming, you know, you just hear it from a distance running towards you. You're like, what the hell is that? Yeah. (laughs) I can imagine myself, I can imagine myself super scared at that and just trying to book it to my ship, looking for the beacon for it and just panicking. (laughs) Yeah. When when in doubt, I'm just going to put my plasma cannon on and just fucking burrow into the ground. (laughs) Just make caves. (laughs) There's many times that I've given out my PSN on the YouTube videos or in public or whatever. And uh, Sean Murray does watch my videos. And I could just imagine him taking my PSN name and then giving me like the worst start in the game possible. (laughs) Just to to mess with me. And I go to my first ship and it says Ford on it and it doesn't start. (laughs) <laughs> that would be so messed up you're just trapped on a planet <laughs> or, or worse oh he's, he's watching this stream and then he, he sends you to the horror planet first oh yeah <laughs> one thing I really want to see though that they're not showing is the trader ships man I want to see how big those bad boys are like he you, he's oh, flown mostly them. the fighter ships no we've seen them but we've never seen them flown you know like him actually like demoing flying a trader ship oh yeah now, is it confirmed that you can't go it inside those large ships at all? Is the freighters? Is that confirmed? No, the freighters, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know about that. No, oh. but in one, if you watch, um, and I think it's the the raw footage that I had uploaded, and uh, if you pay attention, there's a, there's a ship that has the enemy faction symbol over top of it, and it's landed on a space station, and it's just parked there. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna have to look at that. I don't know if it's a glitch or if if it is landed there, then I wonder if we could land our ships. And why would we want to? Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> It'd be cool. <laughs> why not? Speaking of this... glitches, oh sorry, you, you can go ahead. No, I'm sorry. What were you saying, bro? I was gonna say, speaking of glitches, the one glitches that uh, Sean talked about in the one IGN interview seemed really cool that I wish were just kept in the game. Like the one where you oh, yes. can become an animal after you die. Yeah. And that <laughs> that epic. was cool. <laughs> that recently made me think that perhaps your character is procedurally generated. So each one will also look unique in a way. Hmm. If that that glitch can happen, perhaps that that's true, you know? I of course would... I That's would just ponder on that a lot more if he hadn't said uh, we'll know which, what we look like when we see another player. True. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. It's going to be a long time before anyone finds each other. 
I don't think I hope so. I'm, I, I, hope, so. I hope I'm the first one. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the guy to share the pictures. <laughs> Either me or you, Cobra. Either or. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what are your guys' in-game goals? Like, for example, <clears throat> one of mine is to find one of my friends in after I reach the center of the universe, that is. But what are your guys' in-game goals do you have? We we kind of have like a, a goal set because we have another yeah. show called the GNN and it's it's like gaming with a mix of comedy and uh, foul mouth and stuff you know it's 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 a it's, it's a, raunchy a, comedy yeah yeah <laughs> and um, we want to all find each other and we're gonna go towards the center at the same time and then meet at one solar system at one space station and then fly into the center at the same time just screaming but that sounds incredibly epic. Not going to lie, that's that sounds epic. We don't care what anyone was, so don't don't tell us the odds. We don't care. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> that's like. like that's, go ahead, man. I was say that's like just like going into battle with a war cry, just charging in headfirst. Yeah. No cares whatsoever. Sean did say if you want to go to the center, it's a, it's probably a good place to have your friends there with you. So yeah, he said that, and it's really weird that he did say that. So I want my friends there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah people I... keep telling me it's hard. You know, you're not going to be able to do it. It's hard. It's too hard. Um, but if you think about it, to the center of the galaxy, it's only forty to a hundred hours. I put that in a game easy. You know, so if. I want to get to one of my friends, even though we really can't interact with each other. It'd be cool to be in the same place at the same time. But um, you still have to mine, trade, upgrade, you know, to keep going towards the center so that way you survive. So you're still playing No Man's Sky. You're still going to the center. You're still doing everything the game was designed to do, except you have an ulterior motive, and that's to meet, you know, meet up with your friend. When you do, you set a goal for yourself so it's like yeah it's it's like you beat a game you know when you finally got to each other you accomplish that goal so i you know and no man's sky is about freedom it's about playing however you want uh he even said something like uh if you want to walk around the planet for the entire time you play forever then fine do it yeah that was but always my Oh, sorry, John. I'm going to let you go this time because you let me go last time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, I find it really, really frustrating when I see, like, on the community or other places, like, people putting down the idea of you trying to meet up with your friends. Like, I don't people, I don't think people understand, like, you know, that's the game for some people. Some people want to meet their friends, and that's the goal. You know, I don't see why it's impossible, you know? People are, I don't know, people are t very negative on that topic. I, I think <laughs> that within a week or two weeks... Someone's going to upload a video meeting somebody. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be as hard as we think. Yeah, I definitely. Especially people, people are, especially on the PC, bro. These those guys are dedicated. <laughs> they, they 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 make things happen. And since we're going to be all meeting, we're going to all be heading to the center. Uh, it'll still be large. It'll still be a large area to be searching in. Yeah. But we're still minimizing it. We're getting it to a. a smaller area to be searching in when we're all near the center so it will be easier to an extent yeah and also you could see where he said you could see where your friend's location is on the map you know so you'll be able to keep track that way and then you know you could just pick a planet and or a system and say okay that's the one we're meeting at it's like he gave us the tools to meet each other but didn't exactly say anything about it we just had to find out how to use the tools in a way exactly which is kind of the nature behind the game just finding out how to do things which is awesome yeah i always found but... criticism in uh just just to add to your point john um there are a lot of people who are not who are just um thrown off by this game simply because the auto the multiplayer is not just auto an automatic thing right and that you have to find uh, your friend and they don't see reason to play the game if you don't you can't just right away play with your friend but that's and cool yeah that's the that's it gives you purpose to play it in order to find a friend right i like that it's different exactly i agree with you yeah i i think that the uh, the challenge is very tempting exactly not a lot of challenges very... in games today 
Yeah. No, right. not at all. Not, not, you know, and I, the fact that, that we're in such an open, gigantic place and we're all just roaming around together, like, I find it so, so interesting to think that, if you think about it, we're going to be the first people to, to map out the galaxy, the first galaxy at least. We're, we're going to set the way for everyone else who buys this game after us. We, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna pave a path for everyone trying to make their way to the center. Oh, and definitely. Even people people buy this game years later. You know, two years later, three years later, they're gonna follow our trade routes to get where they need to go. And yeah. I don't know. That's that's so cool. I think it is. Yeah. That's special to think. I feel powerful now. <laughs> <laughs> but at, at the same time, insignificant, just because we're this small little thing in this huge. Yeah, yeah it's definitely insignificant because the chances of someone actually finding one of your planets or your, or your paths is slim to none <laughs> i would like to cool. see like into the future like 50 years into the future and see if no man's sky is still a thing you know I'll because still be playing. huh <laughs> i'll still be playing it <laughs> yeah i know right <laughs> Dude, yo, I mean, if you look now, people are still playing like like Call of Duty like four online. Like, you know, there's still a, there's definitely going to be a community for this oh, long, yeah. long after it's released. I mean, heck, there already is, and it's not even out yet. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> Hell, you you've dedicated a website to to exploration for this game, so you know it's it's definitely got a nice community building up. Yeah, it does. No doubt about that. Well, I'm not entirely sure what more to talk about. Um, so I don't know if we wanted to call it wraps or just to, if we thought of something new. <laughs> well, you guys I'll go ahead and question? take another caller here real quick. Oh, um, okay. Or you know what? I'll just add one. We'll make it a party because I, I can't go on too long tonight. What's up, buddy? Thank you for coming hey. on the show. How are you? Mm, good. That's good. Good to hear. So what brings you on? What do you want to talk about? Well, I heard about when you were talking about, uh, like, the community thing. Yeah. What if you go 50 years in the future and it's not out yet? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that is the question. All no, no, no. have to do but... is go a couple of months later and I'm dead. <laughs> better yet. Better yeah, yet. Suicide. 50 years later and still no release date. Yeah. <laughs> and the community thing, people are still playing Counter-Strike 1. Yeah. The first Counter-Strike. And it's yeah, one of the highest, like, um, bot games on Steam. One of the highest. And it's Counter-Strike 1. Yeah. Global Offensive is even higher up there, one of the first, but... As long as there's a community for it, man, people will play it. That's that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. So what's up, man? What are you looking forward to the most about No Man's Sky? Going to planets, naming them. Going out of a planet, going next to a planet... Go, go into the next planet, name it, next planet, name it, next planet, name it, and then <laughs> just name 50 planets that's right next to each other. We've got a cataloger here, guys. Yeah. Now, he's an explorer. I like that. My kind of guy. So, are you going to be responsible with your naming, or are you going to be... <laughs> I'm going to make it, uh, I'm gonna make it just ironic about and funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you guys think of any names for your first planet? Or are you, like, how are you going to name mm. planets for that matter? I gotta see it. You know, I want to see it, but, uh... To oh, be able gonna, to like, out come up to a planet and then just, it's just gonna come at me. I have given myself two rules. For the first planet I come across with life, I'm gonna name it Darwin, after Charles Darwin, of course. My first yeah. ever planet, if it doesn't have life on it, I'm going to name it Galileo, because he, you know, he's an astronomer. Right. So he he made some pretty big discoveries. So I feel like those are for the first planets of those descriptions. I feel like those are appropriate names. The rest of them, I'm going to be like Cobra and base it more off of the planet's characteristic. <laughs> or just something that sounds cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many Planet Shans or Planet Hello Games do you think are going to be out there? I will make oh, at least bunch. one. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Planet Goat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've Maybe seen... if you could place blocks or like place terrain, but you probably can't do that. You, you don't have to. I mean, think about that plasma gun. You mm -hmm. walk up yeah. to a big mountain, and you can carve yourself out a home, you know, for the people yeah. that want to build in the game. You can even carve yourself out a docking bay for your ship. What are you guys going to be? Right when, it, right when it comes out, what are you going to write? Like, you can change. I'm not, I'm not saying that you have to be it, but, like, when, when the game comes out and you log on, what what are you going to be? A, a merchant? Like, a buy, buy low, so high, or a... A minor 
I think that when That's the game, awesome. when you first start the game, I think almost 99% of the people are going to be considered explorers because we're going to yeah. be looking around at everything. You know, I don't think we're, it's going to be a long time, I think, for the majority of us to actually start playing, playing the game. Yeah. yeah. It's like they're going to take weeks and weeks and just look around and do a little bit of selling and just check the space stations and that <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Regardless of what I end up, sorry. <laughs> Regardless of what I end up... Oh, sorry, bro. Fuck. <laughs> 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 it's like back and forth. <laughs> mine's, mine's quick. I'm just going to... Regardless, regardless of what I end up doing, um, I'm going to be an explorer foremost. I'm going to be doing all the things, but at the core, I'll be an explorer. Discovering mm -hmm. things. All right, yeah. that's all I wanted to say. Your turn. <laughs> Me, when, when I'm done exploring, I'm totally going to be a merchant. Totally going to do that. Buy low, sell high. Yeah. I honestly don't even know what I'm going to be because, you know, at first I was saying that I'm going to be a, a, you know, a trade ship protector. But then I was really thinking about it and I was like, what if I come into a solar system where it's just all the planets are toxic and I have no way of landing to make money? I'm going to have to yeah. destroy a spaceship to make money. So I can't, I can't, you know, completely say I'm going to be a goody goody of my whole, you know, so I, I don't even know. It's tough. I guess it's, it's all in the situation. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive in the hood. I'm gonna yeah. be like a cross between a pirate and a scavenger because he said mm -hmm. you can like watch the pirates do their thing and then like steal their stuff, you know, before yeah. they get it. I think that's gonna be a cool way to play for me. Um, so yeah, I was just gonna, I was just gonna say, uh, just camp, go AFK, just sit, sit next to a space station, just wait for pirates just to come in, go behind them, swoop in, take the stuff, get out. Yep. Go to the next sh sta space station. Yep, that's exactly what I want to do. Like in a like a uh, um, a outlawed merchant. Yeah. Honestly, so what, what really was... scared me though, what really scared me was watching in the first the E3 2015 gameplay when the the mothership came in and all the pirate ships came out of it. Like, just <laughs> imagine being in the solar system alone. And yeah. That thing comes out of nowhere and it's just <laughs> you and, and like. They're just unloading like 15 ships to come after you. When he said the military comes after you if you atta attack the galactic police, I believe that's what it looks like when the military yeah. comes after you. That was insane, dude. That was intense. When I heard, like, you can just mine, just go into a planet, mine a bit, go out of the planet, go mine a bit. But if you just stay in a planet and mine heavily, they start attacking you. That might get super annoying for some people that are like um dedicated miners yeah. i think they turned it up though for the gameplay for the thing i don't think they're gonna come after you that quick i feel like it was it was turned up a bit mm -hmm. i noticed a lot of things regarding the e3 and ign they're not necessarily scripted but the things are set to certain like aspects just yeah, to more likely to happen it. yeah like i noticed at least all of the planets that were shown have been the same type of planet. They're island worlds in a way. We haven't really seen much variation in planet type since the E3 trailer. So I'm guessing whatever their build they're using is just kind of set to have generally the same type of planet. That's my guess anyway. Yeah, uh, and I, I a lot of those right. clips were from the same planet, actually. Like, literally yeah, from probably. the same planet. Cause, but like, like, if you go into Steam... And you go to No Man's Sky. Uh, there's like a video, and it starts out just you. It just starts out going through a jungle, and then a big worm that's like 20 feet wide just goes in front of you, and like it just could change that easily in planets. Yeah, it would be so cool just to see that happen. Right. Yeah. But you know he's trying to keep a lot of it hidden from us so we're seeing like uh, uh, not so exciting things you know not the really cool ships I mean just imagine what we're going to see when we finally play it Yeah. Now, the only thing like, I don't like oh, you can go bandit you, 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 you can okay. go the, the only thing I don't like about that though that lack of showing things is because much of the online not community but just people online doing this game they're mistaking that for lack of content rather oh, than yeah. not yeah. showing. Yeah, yeah. That's you exactly add, what's maybe, happening. There's probably like millions of cool things just waiting that they don't even know about. Mm -hmm. And if they just release some of them, some of it, 
and more and more and more will just more people will just love it even more and more mm-hmm. people are gonna love it when it comes out though i think i think the yeah. problem is that you have these people who are just you know these people that are writing reviews about this game that are so into it and they just don't want to believe that mm-hmm. it's possible you know because think about it you know we've been teased so many times in the gaming industry and this game does seem too good to be true but i have i for me personally i have faith it's gonna come like it needs I, to happen eventually exactly and but, it's probably all you have to do really is open up your eyes and your ears i mean anybody that was paying really close attention to destiny knew they probably weren't gonna like it you know what i mean it's yeah. like yeah with no man's sky he's been straightforward you do this you can do that you do this this is this and that's that and they showed the planets they showed that you could fly into them fly out of them fight in space that alone is good enough for me to in enjoy fact, this game yeah. in fact the f- flying into a planet was quite literally the detail that sold the game to me same here just seeing yeah, me too. you actually be able to just seamlessly fly down it was anything I could have wanted. It was. Exactly. I'll never forget when I saw the v, uh, VGX trailer and I saw him leave the atmosphere. The minute I saw that, I was so I could not believe it. I, yeah. I still like remember that day clearly in my head. Like I, <laughs> I hate I hate No Man's Sky because it's ruined every other game for me. It's put <laughs> games on such a high pedestal now that like yeah. every game I look at, I'm like, oh, this game is garbage. <laughs> I, just, I think it's funny though when I go on YouTube and I look up No Man's Sky videos and I and I see people like. Mind you, the information is out there. You know what you can do. You know what the limits are. And these people are just horribly misinforming people. And you know, these some of these guys yeah. are pretty big YouTubers. And like, dude, you're you're literally ruining everyone's an awesome listening game for to other you. people. Give exactly. some, some good information here. Like, yeah, you know, they, they have good stuff other than you know what they're talking about. You know, it's just mm-hmm. sad that a lot of them are misinformed about something yeah. that's potentially gonna change the game. For video gaming, hopefully. Yeah, if you're gonna knock it, it, at least you know, knock it with actual facts, because some of their yeah. subscribers are gonna like take their word. Of course, that's why a lot of it deals. A lot of it deals just with over exaggeration of what Sean has told us too. To yeah, be honest. you're right. Yeah, it, it's oh, all about this reason, disbelief. Like, I don't get it. And and the reason why like Portal and Fallout were so good such a huge success is because nothing was related to them yeah very i agree with that on, on portal yeah. portal's a very random game yeah i haven't played portal unfortunately one day <laughs> i've no just got interested in portal and it seems such like <laughs> like there's so many different things like it's, it's a thought-provoking I mean, game definitely mm-hmm. no man's sky comes first for me no. that <laughs> game yeah. is Here. that game is just i've I've been watching it. Like, Came out of nowhere. <laughs> they should. They should. I don't know why they don't have any commercials yet. I feel like No Man's Sky is driving me crazy. <laughs> is, that, is that bad? This is the only game I've ever followed that has no damn information, and I'm just going nuts trying to scrap up anything I can. Yeah. Oh, oh, exactly. Sean Murray tweeted. He tweeted. <laughs> I check every day for No Man's Sky news, and I'm disappointed by articles that are recycling information oh, training it out yeah it's yeah cross crap but, but the thing <laughs> is like cobra he does that but he gives disclaimers cobra like yeah the thing it, cobra's it's not necessarily um your it's not yours isn't recycled information it's more of just refreshing um, it refreshing it uh there was there's a word in my mind just kind of i don't want to say reevaluating it but just just returning to it, not necessarily saying, "Oh, this is new." It's just like, "Hey, let's look back at this." Right. Kind of yeah. Thing. I feel like yeah. some topics, though, he he does have to go back over because at the yeah. end of the day, since he made some of the videos from so long ago, a lot of things have changed since then. So I mean, mm-hmm. and on That's top definitely. of that, he's got a huge growing community. So like, you got mad new people always asking questions. Yeah. That are and driving bet, the old guys. I bet No Man's Sky got a ton of viewers, like a ton more viewers when E when yeah. E3, two, yeah. 2015 came. Oh, it did. And it got even more with IGN because a lot of people follow IGN. Uh, you know, sometimes people won't tune in for E3, you know, um, but IGN people follow for gaming news. So they mm-hmm. did pick up a lot of new fans from there alone. But, you know, what I've noticed on my channel is I get these questions, man, that are just, you know, can you destroy a space station? Uh, and uh, 
can uh, is it more than one galaxy? You know, so sometimes I, you know, when I upload a video, I touch on some of those things. But I look at my channels more like just a fan channel for No Man's Sky. It, it back in the day, yeah. it was a news channel because everything was just coming out so new and everything. But uh, it's then you know, he realized, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this. Well, I can't it's, now because uh, there's nothing new. No, yeah, no, but like I'm talking about uh, Sean. Like, oh maybe yeah. Maybe should release ma- new stuff and just. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Cobra, can I be honest? Yeah. Can I be honest about something? Yeah. When I first started watching your videos, I one wanted to watch it just because, hey, this guy, he's like me. No he's stuff. All about No Man's Sky. Second thing that just really drew me to it was your voice. You have a voice that just, <laughs> just, just, just is so welcoming. It's like a glass of warm milk. That yeah. you just to <laughs> I've always wanted to be like uh, like on the radio or something, but I never went to school for it. You, you have you have the voice for it, so this is a good alternative because it's it's um, revolving 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 around something that you're passionate about and. You also have a community based off of it, so I, I'm happy. I'm proud of wherever you went. I'm happy Thanks, that dude. you've gone where you've gone. Thanks, dude. Thanks. You know, before I did No Man's Sky, I used to troll people in games. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Don't so we all at one point? <laughs> or are you win in games and win in multiplayer and troll them? No, I don't. I don't think you guys understand. <laughs> <laughs> I. Yeah, I, I know. Cobra was I know that exactly. guy that you hated. Cobra was that guy that you wanted to find and kill. Yeah. <laughs> so he was he was that kind of troll? No, I. Uh, he just I, knew how to get under your skin. Really yeah. Good. I, okay. And I used actual player skills, so there really wasn't anything you could do about it because uh, generally you couldn't beat me at all. The worst kind of troll. <laughs> uh, Crashed a pocket. player who just beats you relentlessly just because they're good. <laughs> yeah. And, and knows how to get under your skin. That too. <laughs> really deep. The, the best of both worlds, or the worst, I should say. But... <laughs> Depends on whose side you're on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, we're probably going to have to wrap it up. Um... <laughs> Thank you. Yep. All right. Thanks for uh, inviting me, Cobra. Dude, it's been amazing. I thank you both for coming on. I really do. You guys are. You guys rock. Yeah, it was. It was a great time. You rock too, as well as you, John. Thanks, and me. And have a good night. I'll, I'll can't forget about McBandit. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only. Club Zero. Well, <laughs> all right. Okay. Bye. All you right. guys have a good night, and uh, thanks again for coming on. Yep, you too, and thank you. You too. Right, bro, have a good night, Cobra. All right, you too, buddy.